So um, on converting then graphing. Um, so in this one we could graph this, but that doesn't really look um, that doesn't really look too good here because um, like I don't really want to graph that on a rectangle axis. I could, right? But that kind of seems a little difficult. So I'm going to convert this to polar form to kind of see if this makes a little more sense. Now, before I even convert this, let's just we could figure this out. Let's do it with the calculator if we wanted to decimal version. But let's just pretend we had no idea where this was or where point this is. Do we at least know which quadrant this point is in? Yeah. Yes, which is the third. third. Some point down there, right? Now again, to write this, to convert this into polar form, I need to figure out the radius and the theta. Radius and the angle. Yes? Yeah. So it's in the third quadrant. We know from here to here is negative 2 squared of 3. And then from here to here is negative 2 squared of 3. Do I have enough information to figure out that angle and the, and the hypotenuse of that triangle? Yeah. Of course I do. Right? Now, I don't want, I used alpha because that is your theta. Be very careful. This happens all the time. Students find alpha for the equation. Right? They find the angle in the triangle and they say, oh, that's your angle. No. Theta is the angle from standard form, from here to here. We don't know what that is. We can only figure out the angle inside the triangle. right? Now, before we get to that, let's find r. So r squared is equal to negative 2 squared of 3 squared plus negative 2 squared of 3 squared. So that's going to be um, 4. 3, so that's square root of 24. Or sorry, r is equal to the square root of 24. Yes? So this would be 4 times 3, yeah. right? 4 times 3 is 12. And then this would be 4 times 3, which would be 12. So 12 plus 12 is 24. So r squared equals 24. And then you take the square root. So r is equal to 20, square root of 24. Yes? I mean, let me know. Like, yeah, that's right. OK. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm skipping some steps, though, because that's just old al algebra, arithmetic stuff. Um, so that's your r. Now, can we figure out what theta is, or, al or this alpha? Yep. Sure. Why don't we say tangent of alpha is equal to negative 2 square root of 3 over negative 2 square root of 3. Does anybody recognize what alpha would be? 1. <sighs> yeah. No, tangent of alpha is equal to 1. So what is alpha? It's a 45 degree angle, or in radians would be pi over 4. So now, guys, we have a radius and we have an angle. But that is the angle, again, of the triangle. That is from here to here. That is not standard form of the angle. Standard form is from there to there. Well, from here to here is how many fourths? Four fourths. And then you've got to add an extra fourth. So it's 5 pi over 4. So your angle of your triangle is pi over 4, but theta is 5 pi over 4. So when I ask you to convert this, the conversion is square root of 24 comma 5 pi over 4. Now, let's go ahead and graph this. Now, square root of 24 is not going to be on an even ring, so let's just kind of estimate. The square root of 25 is 5. So the square root of 24 is going to be a little bit less, right? So Let's do kind of like five rings and just do a little bit farther in. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're at 5 pi over 4, which is down here. So we'll probably put like a point like right there. Yes? 